What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We're going to do another Modern Cube Draft. But first, in true Kerwit fashion, uh, the Ludus Games, otherwise known as Jim, sent us a huge, a huge Canadian care package here. Um, I have this, like, the amount of candy in this is actually overwhelming. Um, so I'm just going to go over it, and we're going to take a gander, and then we'll try some of it on the stream, because... Wow, well, Hunter. Oh, <laughs> then Hunter is literally right here. Oh, candy? Hello. So we have, the first one is called a Mr. Big, and there's a note that says, this one is named after Mike B. And uh, Jim is in the chat right now, so Jim, if you want to explain what these are as we're going over them, because this one doesn't have any description, it just looks like peanut and nougat and wafers, maybe? I don't know. You Canadians are, are wacky. Alright, so. Can you going to open that envelope, man? Thank you. Oh, I did. I already read it. Oh, okay. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was for the stream or not, though. Poro King, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, next we have Big Turk. I have never heard of Big Turk before. Again, it also doesn't tell you what's on here. It might. No, it doesn't. It doesn't actually say. Is that a Canadian candy thing? Where, uh, Canadian candy thing where it just doesn't tell you what's in them? Because even Mr. Big doesn't actually explain what's in the candy. I know a lot of uh, a lot of American candies would be like peanut butter, nougat, caramel, whatever. So you know what you're getting. But, Jim does go on to say, because chocolate and gummies drop the mic. <laughs> so, apparently there are chocolate and gummies in Big Turk, and that's weird to me. So, I don't know what to make of that. But, of course, we'll try it. This one says, sorry for your loss. But I don't know the, the name of this. It just looks like a... I'm very curious as to what this is. Oh, it's Twinkies. <laughs> They're Twinkies. Okay. Do we not have Twinkies here anymore in America? Do they not make them? Uh, they stopped making for a while, then they brought them back. I don't know if they're back still or not, or what happened. Either way. Solid. Maybe that's why it says sorry for your loss? Yes, that's well, that's what I assumed. Alright, next we have some Hickory Sticks. Uh, Julian, uh, those are, that's, that's, that's French, so I'm not going to say that. Hickory Sticks, I took four years, two years of French in college, and it never, uh, it didn't, didn't stick. Smoky flavored anything, need I say more, is the commentary for the, the Hickory Sticks. This is just a ridiculous amount of things. <laughs> oh, the, the piece de resistance here. Mm -hmm. As pure and red like the Canadian flag. It's like a party in your mouth. Have you seen these before? Loaded ketchups? These are ketchup chips. Wow. Chips flavored like ketchup. Amazing. Amazing. Give Hunter a hickory stick. I will once, he's, uh, once we open these bad boys. What do we got here? We like our gummies with a bit of wine. Wine gum. Gums is what they're what they're called here. They got some we got some Maynard's wine gums. I have no idea what these are. That's amazing. Is there actual wine in these? Contains no wine. Dang. Well, that's unbelievable. Can't get crunk on them. What do they call them that, I wonder? To their flavor Do they have a wine flavor, maybe? Interesting. I'd be intrigued to find out. Stay tuned. Oh, these are basically just Whoppers, I assume. These bad boys melt in your mouth. What do you got here? Yep. Maltesers. Some mal Maltesers. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're classic. Otherwise known as Whoppers in the United States. Not to be confused with the Burger King Whopper, which is a completely different type of food. This is so much... This Jim, this is so much candy, dude. Oh, Jim also said don't eat it all in one sitting because I don't want to be responsible for your diabetes. Solid strategy. Uh, next we have Wonder Bars. Uh, Wunderbar, if you're uh, speaking the German. A peanut butter caramel experience. Speaking the German. <laughs> what? Watching, we've been watching Man in the High Castle recently, so uh, definitely been getting a little German. Um, yeah, this is the first candy bar I've seen that actually has a description on it. Hunter is literally right here. Hunter, your ears right. are really cold. It's because it's cold out, right, bud? Okay. Uh, this one says, yeah, peanut butter caramel experience. So it's the first candy that actually says what it is. These are also all very big. These All these candy bars feel large. Maybe it's just because I don't buy a lot of candy bars. So now we got some... Because Canadians like their coffee crisp. P.S. Look this one up. Oh, the, oh, the on the tubes of you. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. This is Nestle Coffee Crisp. 100% sustainably sourced cocoa. Wow, that's good to know. 
I don't think it. I don't think that's how Nestle works. Sounds like that would go perfect with my coffee. Yeah, well, they like their coffee crisp, so. What else we got? Your pancreas will thank you. That's fair. This will make you a truly Canadian. What is this? Made with pure Quebec maple syrup. But I can't find the... There we go. Oh, these are just called Mr. Maple. <laughs> they look like Nutter Butters, only instead of peanut butter, it's maple. So... And made in a peanut-free facility. That's actually pretty con uh, considerate for people with peanut allergies. Maple-flavored cream cookies. That sounds amazing. It does sound pretty good. Yeah, this sounds pretty amazing. I don't know where to put this. I feel like it's Christmas morning. I just, I'm running out of space. Uh, Canadian gum. Meh. Mike should like these. <laughs> oh, what? oh, Jesus. Let's see why. Are they banana-flavored? Uh, no, it just says... They're just, it's just called Thrills Gum, I guess. Hmm. It still tastes like soap. <laughs> Why does it say that? Oh, that's hilarious. You want to try one of these? I guess. You're supposed to like these. So here, you can, you can have a Thrills Gum that tastes like soap. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God, it literally tastes like soap. Oh, okay. That's amazing. That's oh. in <laughs> that's incredible. Wow. All right. Better than ho hos. Wow. This is a big box of. Why do they make these? <laughs> Holy Christ! <laughs> Why do they make these. It literally tastes like a purple candle or something. What are these? What are these? Jo Louis? Is that what? Has that? Uh... Let me go in for another bite. The soapiness goes away. It's still, yeah, but it still seemed like it was there long enough, right? Well, the first bite is really soapy. These are just some cakes. In 1932, Rosanna Vachon came up with an idea to cut her cakes using the lid from a container of baking powder. The Jo Louis was born. I assume that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. Um, yeah, these look also pretty soapy. Now it tastes like regular gum. Also, you, you said one. better than Ho-Ho's, so. You want me to try one? Yeah, try the gum. The, yeah. This is so much... I'm going to start putting it back, though, because we're running out of space and because we're almost at the end. So we can actually start. We have, like, three more things. Give me give me a piece of the... Oh, it's over here. Oh, God. All right. Now, the first taste is going to be pretty extreme, so... My laughing was so loud, I woke up the dog. <laughs> yeah, it's a soap-eating stream now. Oh, Wow. Oh, it's so weird. Yeah. It's kind of like a licorice, though. Like, it's got, like, a licorice soapy taste. It goes away eventually. Okay, this one is said... Thanks, thank the Commonwealth for this one. And this says, The W needs to pronounce a V and pretend you're German when... Oh, this was probably on Wunderbar, right? Wagenwheels? Oh, the, oh no, this is on the Wagenwheels. The Wagenwheels, yeah. Yeah. Ideal snack for the lunchbox, it says, right on the front. That's some good marketing. I feel like all these all this packaging came out of like the 70s, American 70s. Original wagon wheels. They look like these look like moon pies. Yeah, they do. It's definitely a moon it pie. It says individually wrapped marshmallow cookies, so I'm pretty sure this is literally just a moon pie. Thank the Commonwealth. As soon as people say Commonwealth now, all I think it was Fallout 4. How do you feel about that? Sounds accurate. Yeah, like all I when you say Commonwealth, I'm like, "Oh, was oh, dang it. I dropped something." I'm like, oh, did was this was Marcus Garvey? Preston Garvey, was he responsible for this? Here's some crunchies. This is sponge toffee, it says. Why you guys don't have a toffee chocolate bar of your own is beyond me, my fave. Um, would would a Heath bar count though? Would that be a toffee chocolate bar? This is a crunchy. Again, two very solid sized bars here. Alright, we can start putting other stuff away too. The desk is getting a little overwhelmed here and you guys get some nice crinkly asmr action so what do we try first i don't know i dropped one hold on we gotta get that one this bag is overflow oh we have we have one more thing to show too well two more if i if you count the thing i dropped which i will try to pick up now with my prehensile feet no nope, can't do it 
Okay, we did it. This is Crispy Crunch. Oh, this just looks like Butterfinger. See, it's funny. Again, there's no description on here whatsoever, so I have literally no idea what this is other than the picture of the candy itself. Which looks like Butterfinger. So I'm pretty sure these are just Canadian Butterfingers. Oh, peanut butter and chocolate and crunchy goodness better than a Butterfinger. So, mm. there you go. There you go. And the last thing. It says open last. And it says the Order of Canada. I'll just read this. Dear Mr. Frank Laporte, I don't know if this is I don't know if this is real or if this is something Jim printed. I have no idea what this is. You have been selected to become an honorary Canadian. As part of this honorary title, you have been sent some Canadian treasures to be entrusted to your care. Enclosed, you'll find one Canadian hero and one true son of Canada. To main to maintain your status as an honorary Canadian, you must keep care and keep safe these treasures for all time. As an honorary Canadian, you will be entitled to warm greetings while in Canada. Some discounts at local restaurants were applicable. Uh, and you will be able to wear a maple leaf on your clothing. As a side note, no person or persons shall don the maple leaf unless they are in unless they are Canadian. If such a non-Canadian person or persons are found donning the maple leaf, they are to automatically captured to be automatically captured and lectured for three hours. Okay. <laughs> Best regards, Canadian people of Canada, CPC. P.S. It is expected that as an honorary Canadian, you'll be overly polite uh, every day, apologize by saying sorry at least three times a day, and consume Canadian cuisine such as but not limited to maple syrup, poutine, and beaver tails. Not what you think. Look it up. At least three times a year. The CPC hold full rights to revoke your status at any time. We are sorry if this offends you and hope you can understand. Again, sorry. <laughs> PPPS. The CPC are sorry for making this letter too long-winded. We know your time is valuable. Apologies one last time. Have a wonderful day. And I have not opened this, so we're going to open it together and see what's going on here. Did you get any Wonder Bar? Yeah, we got two. Wow, look at Kerr with the Canadian... Breaking off the Canadian candy knowledge. Wow, this is gas. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. We have a copy of Captain Canuck number one. Uh, so, with original art on the cover, no less. This is amazing. And then... We have Wolverine, Son of Canada, Special Canadian Edition. That's actually incredible as well. This is the this is amazing. And uh, Kerwin, you're Canadian. Oh my God, everything is changing right now. These are both incredible. This whole package is incredible, and uh, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty pretty flabbergasted by this whole thing. So. I'm gonna put this sideways. Pick something. We'll we'll eat it and then we'll we'll move on with this draft. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take the gum out for now. It's actually not terrible. I think it's actually got a a reasonable licorice flavor to it. Oh, the Mr. Big. Okay, because it's because it's after you. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll do a Mr. Big. All right. I'm gonna put this box on the floor. I'd say we each get one, but they're pretty big, so I like sharing yeah, one's that's good. Yeah, not, that's not reasonable, I don't think. All right, so let's make ourselves smaller. And then we can try Mr. Big while we draft. Oh, no, nope, everything's happening. Oh, no. Bad things. Why is that so large? That's what she Thank said. You. Huh. Indominus, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. All right, we're going to go probably right about there as normal, I believe. And let's hop into this, dude. So that was a good that was a good 13 minutes. So you guys are on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure the comments are going to be like, the draft starts at 13 minutes for those who care. Keep an eye on Hunter. Hunter will, yeah, Hunter's not touching any of this chocolate. You guys never need to worry about that. That dude's like my baby. I like how you opened it and closed it again. I good. didn't know if it was open or closed. Why don't you shut up? Don't tell people I did that. Oh, I think they're no, not broken up in half. See, American candy bars, we break them in half now. So you guys, this looks like, this looks like actual doo-doo, guys. <laughs> this looks like something you would throw in a pool. And you'd be like, well, look, there's a doo-doo in the pool, so I can't go swimming now. There's a doo-doo in the pool. It's not to say it looks bad, it just looks like actual doo-doo. Eat some Canadian and Japanese candy at the same I don't think I have any Japanese candy. I think I just have, like, Pockies left. Um... All right, here. This is this is your doo doo half. Thank you. Take it easy. Hunter's getting real upset. Something's going on. I 
I think he sees a dog somewhere. Alright, so what do we got here? How is it? It's good. Mmm. That is pretty good. It reminds me of Star Crunch. Yes, very much. I think we're also digging this Eugene, but yeah. This tastes like a Little Debbie Star Crunch. It's actually really good. Wonder Bar is where it's at. Eat one of those. And this is how he went. Oh, I forgot my drink. This is how he got. We fell into a diabetic coma sucker. on the stream. Did you just call me a sucker? Mm hmm. Give my candy bar back. It also does taste like 100 grand. <clears throat> I don't know if I've had 100 grand recently enough. Whew. Long time YouTube viewer, first time on Twitch. I was like, wow, they look so much bigger on Twitch. <laughs> wow, YouTube really, really shrinks their heads a lot. What are we taking here, man? We got a sword. We got a Grave Titan. I like Grave Titan. I do too. I think it's Gravy T, right? I think Grave Titan beats Sword. But I also think people have no respect in this stream, or in, this, in, these, in these drafts, so like, it'll, we'll probably just get the Sword on the wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and discard that gum. Discard. Hey man, I'll reanimate the gum with an umbrella rights if you discarded it. Uh, it's in my graveyard, not yours, so you can't do that. Duh. What's the pick here, man? Sorry, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, probably Goblin God. All right. No, don't do it. Okay. Sword or Overgrown Tomb? Or on Barely Rice. Did you get any crispers? I don't think so. Maybe? I don't There was a lot. Someone in chat can probably tell us better than I could if we got any crispers, because... Well, because realistically, like... Sword is pretty good. I do like Umbrella Rites, though. I didn't even have Umbrella Rites on the list. I said Sword or Overgrown Tomb. You like Umbrella Rites? I do. Is it because you're a weirdo? Yeah. All right, well... <clears throat> I like this sword here. I don't want to commit to green. I took this. I think Unbarrel Rights does wheel. I don't think people appreciate it. And they, it's fine. Mm. Oh. Oh. Nothing wrong from Siggy? I do like an Orzhov signet. That stuff is gross. <laughs> also, like, in case you missed it, on the Thrills gum, it does say, it still tastes like soap. Which is pretty hilarious. That's weird that it says that. They marketed their own shame. I appreciate the Canadians having a sense of humor, though. I've always wanted an eating stream. Thank you. Wow, that's very strange. What is this right here? What did you clip? It just says, they're just. It's just called Thrills Gum, I guess. Hmm. There we go. It still tastes like soap. <laughs> Why does it say that? Oh, that's hilarious. You want to try one of these? I guess you're supposed to like these. So here, you can you can have a Thrills Gum that tastes like soap. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God! It literally tastes like. So Oh, 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 that was great. That was well worth it. Oh, man. What are you taking? Black Sun Zenith? No, nah, Gear Hulk. Really? Another six drop? I thought we liked Board Clears here. Board Clears here? Board Clears here. The, the, the Gear Hulk comes back, I guarantee it. Ooh. Hey, look, an Elish. That's a late Elish, too. Also, go for the throat. I don't care about all that. We're going to get that Umbrella Rights back, and then we're going to be doing What about Moldrifter? Don't care about Moldrifter. Wow. I got to sneeze. All right. <coughs> Nate Holt, that's for you, buddy. So, there's a YouTube a YouTube viewer. Uh, his name is Nate Holt. Nathan Holt or Nate Holt? It's not, not the same as... Um, not the same Nate Holt as like the end of the battlefield Nate Holt. I assumed. But every time I sneeze, he responds and says, bless you. And it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 
a nice guy. I like Underworld Connections here. Does it like you back? I don't know. You always ask me that. I have no idea. These are good. Yeah, I like it. Canada, can Canada candy is one for one right now. Uh, I don't know if it's one for one. That soap, that oh. soap gum was no good. Okay, so it's it's one out of two then. Obviously. Then again, it did advertise it tastes like soap, so I don't know if I can. Yeah, you knew it. what you were getting into. I guess it's Everson. Mask room. Oh, or never return. I like never return. Yeah. Because we already have Elish Norn to deal with like a bunch of idiots on the board. What have they eaten so far? We've only eaten Mr. Big. Just to and be the next gum or whatever. to be with you. That's Mr. Big. Remember Mr. Big from the 80s? Or the 90s? Or the 60s? Or the 40s? <laughs> Or, or the, the 2000s. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I want to take this isolated chapel. Seems good. You ready for that noxious gear hulk right here? No way. Yeah, it, like I said, it tasted like a star crunch. Um, Muse is pretty good. So is red cap, though. I think all these are fine. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take Muse. Oh, I like that in the sideboard. We did not get our Noxious Gear Hulk back. That's unfortunate. I feel like the gum was developed in a Canadian... Oh, all right. I'll take a Midnight Reaper. In a Canadian flavor shortage and became a cultural thing after the gum flavoring shortage came to an end. God, poor Canada. You want to play the one drop? Uh, I don't think so. Why not? Uh, because I don't think this is a one drop. attack. We didn't get the Embryo rights, so... We didn't get the Embryo rights. Surprise. But then again, we can probably just cast it. <clears throat> Eight is a lot, though. Path is good. Yeah, path's pretty good. Whip seems all right here. Do your signal even seems fine? Yeah, there's a lot of okay in this pack. I want to take the path here, and then hopefully this Gristlebrand tables, because no one really likes Gristlebrand in this cube, which makes sense. Oh, boy. Now I want to be Esper. <coughs> Shh. I'm sorry. Never happened again. Shh. Wow. Is it gifted Aetherborn here? Oh, I like treasure map. Let's take treasure map. Are you ready? Uh huh. Okay. We did it. How do you feel about Bloodline Keeper? It's alright. How do you feel about Approach the Second Sons? It's alright. Okay. Well, that's a good. I think I like Bloodline Keeper a little better. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? I like Bloodline Keeper because you can play it on three after our two signets. Will you start streaming the second Yo Mayor's Race tomorrow? I will try. It is definitely on my agenda. Just to be the... Also, if you guys are interested, tonight we're going to be doing Commander at around 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we're going to play Josh VS's deck. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't looked. Maybe I did. Well, clearly you don't remember. I clearly don't remember. But... If you guys watching now, if you guys want to watch some Commander later. Is it Gave? I think it's this Gave deck. Oh, A little Gave. Gave. Oh, Flicker was pretty good. On Grave Titan, resets Ugin. I don't hate it. Meyer might be better. Is Funny Joke still on the soundboard? Funny Joke is not on the soundboard, unfortunately. That's sad. What's the pick, man? Help me with this pick. What? Um, Collector Brutality? I like Flicker West better. All right. I do, too. I think the potential. Don't put it in the board, man. I'm heading to Florida for Christmas. You want a box of snacks from Florida? Yeah, definitely. Also, Kurt, we're in Florida. We could, uh, Maybe we could meet we up. We should hang out. Yeah, we should totally hang out. That would actually be hilarious if you sent me a box of Florida snacks. Because It's funny because being from Florida, I don't really take advantage of Florida things like that. Oh, Key West is legit. It's literally just going to be a box of key lime pie flavored things. 
Key West is a little far, but we could take a little. I trip. really like Paul Chan's work in this cube better than previous. But really, because there's a lot of things I don't like about this cube. Um, I love Paul to death, though. Me and Paul were at the Community Cup together in 2014, I believe. God, that feels like a lifetime ago. This, what did you say? Did you say something? I said it's a bit of a drive, but we can meet up halfway or something. Save Key me West. a spot if you're playing with others. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? What are you saying right now? I think he Saltwater means for Commander. Taffy is pretty Florida. You're right. What Did you say a pick? No. Marshall Coup? Shh. We already have a black Sunday. This figure? This figure. Marshall Coup. I took the Marshall Coup. I think it's just a better card. I think this deck is going to go big. Or it's going to go home. One of those two. It is two options. Saltwater Taffy might be a beach thing, but the problem is Florida is mostly beaches. So... It's basically one big beach. It is basically one big beach. Uh, Ruinous Path or Vampire Hex Mage? Hmm. Probably Path. I think the Planeswalker count is fine. I just think there's cards that don't really fit. Like, Dream Eater is kind of like meh. It's worse than all the other six drops in the cube. I feel like they just put it in there because it's a new card. Right. Like, I feel like they just put a bunch of new cards in because they were new. Not necessarily because... What did you say? Did you say Hex Mage or Ruinous Path? Ruinous Ruinous Path. Yeah. It, it does the same thing as Hex Mage, but... Damnation. Bane Slayer Angel. Bane Slayer Angel. We have a lot of removal, right? I also like Pilgrim's Eye. Um, we have Path, Ruinous Path, Never Return. That's pretty much it. I mean, no, we have Storm, these two, but they're Pugin. very expensive. Well, yeah, but this is all expensive. I don't consider this removal. Like, if we get eight mana, like, these are just going to win us the game rather than, like, killing a turn four Pelucranos, which I'm... Which oh, we should take the Cast of Wolf run. That's a really Rob pick of you. That's like the savannah of this draft. I think it's probably Damnation. I took the Bainslayer because we're white as well, so we can probably get... Gators, marinated, and orange juice. Wow. <laughs> that does sound very Florida. Uh, baked into a key lime pie. Jesus. I like Mana Confluence. Actually, Mind Shatter <laughs> is, uh, is baller. How many X cards can we have? There he is. It's but is that better than Whip? Oh, I don't think it's Bristlebrand. I think our, our deck got a lot more expensive after this Mind Shatter and the Marshall Coup. Feels like it's Whip here. Because this is going to be a 7 drop. This is probably going to be at least 6. This could be a 5, so... I do like Whip here. I don't think we're taking the, the Crystal Brand. I like Duplicant, too. Yeah, I can see taking Duplicant Like, here. we don't have a lot of creatures is the problem. my problem with Whip. All right, then take the Dupy. I like Aethermorn a lot. That's a Glad nice... that came back. That's a nice early bro. Hey, look... Approach the second son. I'll take approach and put it in the board. Looks like a brutality came back, which is also a pretty high pick for us. Yeah, it's a great red marshal, whatever. Meets o teats. The funny thing is, we could actually take in Gavany Township and splash it off of the Golgari Signet. Hmm. Yeah, think about that, nerd. I don't know if that's worth it. Everything is worth it. You know what that means? No. Yeah, because I made it up right now. Just to be the next. Now I have Mr. Big stuck in my head. No, to be the next. To be with you. Be with you. you remember that song? Do you remember that song even? No. Hold on, little girl. Show me what he's done to you. You don't remember that song? No. Whatever, dude. Maybe you're just doing it a bad job. Maybe I'm doing it a bad job. Mm hmm. Hey, you're just doing it a bad job, eh? I don't know why I did a Canadian voice for that, but that's how But you did. But you did. I feel like I should probably go get my drink. Then do it, you dumb dummy. Mono black control. Oh, with white. Wow. You don't have to be sad about that. Rask and Contempt seems pretty good here. Can you guys hear Hunter? What does he see? It's got to be a dog. Oh, I can that. do that because I'm an honorary Canadian now. Get wrecked. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. He doesn't need help. He's getting real excited looking out the window or something. I like a guild. Oh, guild of Lust might actually be great for this deck. Yeah, actually, that's pretty good Pretty good for us. Like, we already have Ruinous Path and Never Return here. Also, my table. It seems like black's really open. 
Yeah, I'm going to take the Lotus here. This seems like a perfect Lotus deck. This is why I actually didn't take the Damnation. Under the assumption that we would get at least one of these. I don't think we're playing Sword here. No, we're pretty creature light. I also don't think we're playing this guy. It just doesn't do anything in our deck. This is why I don't like Flicker Wisp either. Try the Maple Cookies. Maple Cookies. Do, 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 do. Oh, Galda Shrine. This is a big Vrasky, if we can splash it. I'd rather have the Gala Shrine in this Fair. very, very heavy man. Like, the black-white decks usually have really heavy mana requirements. All right, we're going to try some... Uh, Metable, uh, or the English version, Mr. Maple. Hmm. That was Mike's nickname, in, Mike's nickname in college. They used to call him old Mr. Maple. I can't back that up. Little crinkly ASMR for you. Yeah, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying. Wow, this is a that is a strong smell. Whoa, that's maple F. Yeah, that is the strongest maple I've ever smelled in my life. Here, I got this maple cookie for you. It smells delicious. What's the pick here? Anything good? No, not really. Liliana, Death's Majesty is all right, but not great. Mapes for short. That's good. That is good. That's pretty good. I think it's just Liliana just because she reanimates something. I don't think it's I don't think either are great. Oh, I like a Sorin here though. I also like face fetters and a Chubinus. Man, this pack is great. This pack has four cards that I want. Five actually, but I would just take Chub. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Is that even a good Sorin? Oh yeah. This is a great Sorin. I like Sorn because we're trying to wipe the board. Like, I don't want to play Choop and then play Day of Judgment or or uh, Marshall Coup. Yeah, I'm taking the Sorn. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're definitely... Ooh, the Maple ones are real strong, but they're also very good. I don't think they're too strong. Oh, they have a strong Maple flavor. I don't think they're strong as in, like, I can't eat these strong, but they're Yeah, it's strong. not, like, overly Maple-y. Oh, that's good. Pretty good. I'm going to take Flicker Wisp out. Like, we're just not a heavy creature deck. But all the creatures we do have, I want to get card advantage from, like Bloodline Keeper or Grey Burn Muse. Baneslayer Angel, obviously good. Grave Titan, obviously good. Gifted Aetherborn is nice on the ground. Yeah, it's very strong. A very strong, pleasant maple taste. Hang on. Fatal Push. I'm going to message Felipe see if he wants to. That's a good idea. I was thinking that. Fatal Pushin. I want to get I want to get a Fatal Push altered to be a Fatal Pushin. And uh, I guess that's the end of that story. Yeah, I think it's the only really good card in here. Maple, Maple is the Neosporin of their people. Is that true? I had no idea. Look, see, this is basically a Chupacabra. That siren is the nerd police coming for you both. How dare you? How dare you? Hey. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> this is a very solid uh, black-white control deck. I'm I'm looking forward to this. Ideally, oh, I like a kitchen finks actually. That's kind of nice. I don't know if I like the underworld connections, but I kind of do. 
I don't know if I need path and push. Maybe I'll take out the path for now. I like path better than push. I don't want to give them lands, though. We don't have a lot of ways to trigger push, either. What? Why are you cutting the skin, Randy? Because we got to make cuts, my man. We need some kind of threats, though. We need some kind of threats, though. Now we have Draw's Messenger and Skin Raider. we just cut the white? I can see that, actually. Like, what do we lose here if we cut the white? If that Grey Merchant comes back, I'm going to seriously consider cutting the white. Felipe is a no-go. He's going to stream later, and he doesn't want to spend the money. Oh, wow. That's fair, though. Get a load of streaming McGee over here. Liliana's Mastery also makes me want to... What does that do again? Uh, it makes two zombies, and all your zombies get plus one, plus one, so they're both three threes. Wow, that's a late Night's Whisper. And a Silk Wrap still. Jeez. I want to take the Night's Whisper because uh, we don't really need more removal. <laughs> Gotta take the Kitchen Sphinx out if we're being mono black. Correct. And but the Sorn. Correct. But, like, without the... Yeah, but without the stupid Grey Merchant, I really don't feel like we're, we're benefited to play mono black. Yeah, if we had Merchy, it would make sense, but... If we don't, then... That's really the payoff you want. Or even like Whip of Erebos. Because <clears throat> the mono black deck usually wins by playing creatures, and the uh, the black white deck doesn't have to do that. I don't think we need duplicates, so we actually can make this work. We can get rid of duplicate. Okay, well. Get rid of duplicate. Get rid of Liliana's Mastery. Get rid of Kitchen Finks. I don't like Underworld Connections. I'd rather play Knight's Whisper. Uh, bring in. here you're a six you're a three you come in you probably come in as well bane slayer can come back this is 21 cards bring probably in elspeth yeah elspeth probably bring in day of judgment i don't love skin render here but i think it's fine i just don't know what we're cutting for it we also have path i'd rather just play path or fatal push and not play skin render so cut that cut the rendy yeah you guys like the Lily, the five minute Liliana? I just don't think she's great. We're not re we, there's, we have six creatures in our deck, so we're not reanimating. We're just going to be milling ourselves and and drawing two cards, or uh, milling two cards, making a two two and milling two cards. Is what I mean, what I mean. To yeah, be we saying. could play approach. I don't know. I, I would play approach if we had more ways to get through our deck. Otherwise, we're just going to play approach and then have to wait seven turns. I'm not huge on approach. I think this is actually fine. We have a lot of removal here, which is great. We can actually just sideboard the Day of Judgment. We already have Marshall Coup. I think I'd rather have Skin Render than Day of Judgment. Okay. You see that. All right. So what do we got? 10 and 5. So that's 12, 7. Yeah. We could probably do one more planes minus one. Yeah. Do yeah, that. I like 11, 8. And this deck looks sweet. Let's do it. 5 mana Lily is probably pretty good with Approach, but I like that everyone's mentioning the Approach Liliana combo now. Hold on, Michael. All right. We also have two signets and a thing. Uh, this hand seems fine. Yeah. Huh. Have you thought about Approach Bus Lily? I have considered it. Keep. They went to six? They basically did. I'm going to go grab my drink while we're, while we're, just, <coughs> while we're just starting out. Hold on a second. I'm going to get out of here. See you later. You will. Hold on, let my go. That's Mr. Big. Do you want Mr. Big? No. No. Do you really not? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized, or otherwise I'd. Otherwise I'd teach you the ways of Mr. Big. 
They went oh, to yeah. five, and they're still like mull they're mulling over this. <laughs> My back is better. Unfortunately. Wow. I was hoping it would have killed him. <laughs> it almost did, I think. It was very, it was very rough. It was always funny. It was both funny and, and heartbreaking watching him get out of chairs. Because uh, it was not ideal. Wow. Get that Man, value. Not the worst thing to get censored. Get that value. I don't know, man. This provides a lot of value. This is like three scries and three cards over the course of its life. That's a lot of value. Create an unun. I know that feeling. I sprained my leg and had to sit on the floor. Was saying, sit on the floor at work. Standing was interesting. Yeah, like Mike watching Mike try to get out of his, out of a chair was, it was hilarious. I would laugh at him, but I would also be like, I'm laughing at the faces you're making and uh, how silly you're making this look. Not, in fact, your pain. Look at this vampire token. I don't think I've ever seen this token before. Look at that dude. He mad. He mad, bro? Mm-hmm. Let's just get rid of this. Oof. sad what old bendy boy bendy boy mm -hmm. are you talking about this no i'm talking about that oh yeah okay i wasn't sure if you saw it i was like what's he talking about what is he talking about look at all my life linkers bro i hear you got two of them oh uh, there's three on the board bro oh all right unbelievable Okay, well, this guy's a lot of enchantments. We're definitely bringing in Forsake the Worldly, that's for sure. Well, Skindra has a target now. I guess, but boy, we're really like on parity right now. We're like, we have two cards, they have two cards, and all we have is a 3 3 and a 1 1. So it's not like. We're not super ahead here by any means. This is where they go land Consecrated Sphinx, and it's just like, well... Well, just path it. I guess that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. You know, if it resolves. I mean, they only have two cards in hand. They only have two cards in hand. You have Resto? How do you keep having them? Snappy Boy? It's gotta be Snappy Boy, right? Repeal. Repeal. Sure. Okay. That's fine because it's not the zombie. How do they overpay? They did. All right. Well, here we go. <clears throat> What's a Chicago? -one? What's a gone? Where'd all my vampires go? Might as well path it on our side. Yeah, we have no reason to. This is just. This is a ridiculous amount of enchantments and good draws. They have more cards than us, and all we have is a skin runner now, and they mold to five, and we started at like eight cards. Oh boy. We could still win this game. I mean, alright, now they're on a three turn clock. 
The problem is, like, a lot of these cards like Ultimate Price are not great because they don't have a lot of creatures here. Here comes a Lush Knowing. Or Consecrated Sphinx, those are my guesses. Or just Six Mana Elspeth. If you're not a Chicago and you wouldn't understand, that's fair. Oh my god. Enchantments.deck over here. Apparently. That's a good one. All right, let's go. I would probably go to Pastimes as well. I'm a big Alan Hawkman fan. Oh, look, your own, your own treasury map. <laughs> That's pretty good. So if we do this for three, we get back both of these. Uh huh. If we do it for four, we also unlock our skin render. No, the skin render would die. All right. <laughs> and we lose our bloodline keeper. Yes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna veto that. Okay. I think I think two is the sweet spot here, right? These are both two. You got it. Chicago loves you. Come visit. We'll go get some Pequods. Oh, Pequods is legit. Yes, two is enough. I was literally just going. I wanted to make sure these guys live, so I said three. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Yeah, we can plus here. I guess we maybe should have made an emblem. They have no pressure. Oh, we just win this game. Uh, all right. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? Ow, ow. I think Underworld Connections is probably great in this matchup. So is Forsake the Worldly. Uh, Flicker Wisp is good because they have Quarantine Field, which just gets rid of the Quarantine Field. Uh, I like Collective Brutality. We're going to take out Ultimate Price. We'll take out Gifted Aetherborn, because that guy, we don't really need a lifeling guy in this matchup. Take out, probably Skin Render. And I think we can just do like that. I think that's fine. Oh, Black Sun Zenith. That seems fine. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that good? I think that's fine. All right. I thought that was my cat. <laughs> oh, man. Pequod's closed? Wow. That's that's brutal, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I posted this on Facebook, but can you guys give me an idea of where he would fit on the chonk scale? On, uh, from, from zero to, oh lord, he coming? <laughs> I see one land in this hand, which is making me very sad. The funny thing is, if we hey, keep one this, land, though. if we keep any one land, I think we're keeping it. We get two draws to hit a land, and then we actually have very, very good options here. Oh, Lord. Is that your new robot vacuum? Yeah. Technically, it is. If I spill food, it's my robot vacuum. We did it. Let's do it. We didn't do it. We were in bad shape. We messed up real bad. Make that new wait, note wait. FDL chonk? They missed a land drop as well. Oh, right. Oh, my God. We're in the same. <clears throat> we're in the same game here. Okay, we're not in the same game anymore. We're going to lose because they're going to hit their land drop here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, dang it. Ah. We can still hit all one right now. Yeah, can't even play that. No, no, we're fine. Just give it time. Are we? Come on. Come on, Magic Online. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like that. 
Oh, I see. I see. All right, now we're dead. Yep, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Another enchantment slash artifact. Good to know. Good to know. All right, so, um, yeah, I think we're taking out Path and bringing in Fatal Push here. No, maybe not. I don't know. Like, I want to get rid of a looter, and I want to be able to get rid of a exclusion mage, I guess. But also, if they do have, like, Consecrated Sphinx or Eleshnorn, I do want to get rid of it with a path. So we'll just, we'll leave it. I don't even, like, is it fine? I don't know. I guess. Like, I think it's just, it's just, like, based on so much land abuse that I feel like I'm lucky to have lands to cast my spells, even though this hand is bad. This is better. I will keep. Oh, let's keep that. That'll keep us in. In good. In like Flynn. That'll keep us in like Flynn. Also, I want them to play a, a looter El Core so we can bust it. Uh, I was actually targeting myself because so many there's so many draw spells that are like target player draws two cards. So next turn we're gonna brutality, maybe discard a Lesh Norn to kill their looter El Core if they play it. I love that Enraged Sloth is in the chat. But they did that, so maybe that's not relevant. Uh, cast the Escalate two modes. Lishnorn and Neg. Choose you, choose you. Discard Norn. Sunlance, huh? Got a Tamio, a Harbinger. All right. Well, oh my God, Brian, Brian, I can't believe the one land Ugin hand didn't work out. <laughs> You mean you can't believe a hand that where we literally only need to draw one land in three turns that didn't work out? I mean, same. <laughs> Seems like there's literally like three two drops on that hand, so I don't want to hear that nonsense. Yeah, so I mean, it makes no sense. Like, there's three cards we could have played with one. <clears throat> uh, we could have played Signet Night's Whisper or uh, what was the other card? Or your Treasure Map, all of which find more lands. So it's just a kind of a weird thing to say. It doesn't really make much sense. So we they, they played. Wow. What did they play? They played planes and an island. And a, I assume they just played planes island here, and treasure map. So we know two of the four cards in their hand. I think we're just actually playing. I guess we'll draw first because we're not gonna play a five drop here. So we're just gonna draw, and maybe play muse. And this is just going to kill us. <laughs> it might. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, I wonder if they played that because they think it bounces the Graveborn Muse. Or they just drew a sword, so they're going to go sword equip. No, interesting. Oh, like maybe they wanted a guy to tap Tamiya? I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Oh, all right, sure. That's fine. This is all very strange to me. Always yield to that. Draw a card. Play a land. Uh, Vraska. <sighs> Pretty sure we're just going to Vraska's Contempt here and then not care. That's two cards we just drew. Kind of. Kind of? It is. I'm not going to attack, though, because we're not going to win with this Greyborn Muse attacking. We might. Oh, you're right. Not anymore, though. Get wrecked. Come on. All right. Um, 
So we just get to draw like two, three cards a turn. That seems good. I don't. I'm no magic expert. Here's one. Oh, that's good too. Dang. Five, six, seven mana. Woof. Draw card, play Graveside. Um, they have two cards in hand. I'm afraid of like I'm honestly I only have this, so I'm not actually terrified of. Mostly watch YouTube. Did you guys do the Hot Wings tip yet? Not yet. Uh, so apparently the the bomb is actually getting here on Monday, I believe. I don't know. It's it's gonna be it's gonna get here late. So, um, anyway, it's not gonna be for like another week or so. Probably when the Vintage Cube is happening. Okay, so that seems fine. I'm okay with that. I will attack you, though. If you have a removal for this guy, I'll just take two. But you have two cards in hand. I am a little concerned. No, I'm not even concerned about Quarantine Fields because we have Forsaken probably, which is great. Really? Rude. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's a May ability. Dang, that's unfortunate. What? Why don't you just kill it for free then? I don't understand anything that's happening right now. I'm very confused. I hope Mike is feeling... Mike actually is feeling better. Yeah, for the most bite, it's fine. For the most bite, it's fine? For the most bite. For the most bite, it's fine. For the most bite, it's fine. Yeah, that's about how it sounded, sure. Sure, bud. Sure. They have one card in hand, which I'm okay with. Do we draw a card or do we scry? I think we want to scry because it gets this online faster. Plus, like, if it's a land, which it will be... Do I want a second white? I think we can get more of these. We also don't need it at this moment, so I'm not terribly... At this moment... Let me... Oh, speak of the devil. Where the white man at? That's what I ask myself every day. Well, if you have sensor, this doesn't resolve. I don't think you have anything, though. I think you have nothing. I wouldn't say we're punished per se. I just think that turns on. So like the, the second white source is a blank just as much as this is a blank, right? It needs the other card to be good. So um, we can just hold this Elspeth and it's the same as just playing a second white source, right? However, we draw a second white source, all of a sudden this is online. Oh man, this is interesting. Bat him up. Uh, draw a card. And we will scry. Flip this dude. I think that's worth keeping. Draw a card. Oh, also we have treasure, so I'm not really super concerned with the second white source here. Um, yeah. Also, Soren makes vampires. Which is irrelevant. What? Which is irrelevant. Yeah, because of the bloodline keeper? Yeah. All right, I guess we're just getting in there with Grave Titan. I feel like we're way ahead right now. Yeah, I don't think it's really close. Something else with better. Uh, I want to make a guy with this. And now, next turn we can surprise Elspeth and attack with a Zomboy. Surprise, Elspeth. That's correct. We will surprise Elspeth. I mean, even if they... Uh, uh, it's Yeah, we're trying to get the Lord of Lineage. We got a Lord of Lineage and a Lord of Innistrad. Lords for days. Dungeon Goose. I imagine you're going to tap Grave Titan down. That seems like the scariest creature in the, in the multiverse. 
surprise, mother mucka <laughs> Oh, that's a good, that's a solid clip. They didn't do anything. Do we get to we get to Lord of Lineage next turn? Jesus, that's brutal. One, two, three. Yeah, so we get to we aren't doing anything in the turn, right? No. Oh my God, Brian, dude. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool. Do dude. that too. Make a dude. Uh, let's transform this guy. How about that? Flip him. And I guess we jump someone with El Are they just dead? Jump someone with Elspeth, kill a guy. I think they're dead. I am really actually kind of scared of... Um, Settle the wreckage? Settle, yeah. So I'm actually just going to attack with these guys. So if they go block, block, block. Block here. Like, I'd love to make an emblem with Soren next turn. Yeah, this should be fine. They both fly, so you can either double block one and then we get our Grave Titan back, or you just take eight. Okay. Oh, boy, that's interesting. I wonder what that means for us. Have blink and you're bouncing that guy. Okay. Do 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 do. These all flying. Life link, life link. Wait, weren't this wasn't this different art last time? It was. Oh, that's weird, man. I'm tempted to just kill this. No awake? No, I don't care about the land. I'd rather just play Elspeth and be able to draw a card. And... Yeah, just create a well one. And I'm going to keep these guys in case they have like a wrath effect. Then we have Planeswalkers on board and we have two very, very easy to recover creatures in hand. Yep, that's a good sign. That's not something. So we get to draw one, two, and then three, four, five cards in the next turn. That's pretty good. Seems decent. Yeah, I remember last week you guys were gone and I had to turn the AC on. I was just like, wow, it's getting really hot in here. It was like 74 and... Uh, or 76 or something in the house and it was like I was like okay it's getting a little toasty so I turned the AC back on and now it's like 50 outside and I'm like well I'm not doing that again welcome to Florida thank you although I've been here the whole week so Oh lordy, he coming. Do you guys like Florida? I don't I don't have any problems with Florida. It's alright. I mean I, I wish Florida was more progressive, but you know. Do they have cell wreckage? Like I don't understand. I also wish we had this weather a little more long in the for the year. I wish the weather was a little more long, I do. Yeah, they're going to wrath the board, right? 100% wrath the board here. Ooh. That's rough. I mean, this is actually weird that they had Fumigate. Like, they saw, like, two creatures from our deck. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I 
That's why we didn't play Bloodline Keeper. <laughs> so. Come on, Ugin, one time. No? No Ugins? Come on, Ugin, one time. Okay, well. Come on, Ugin, one time. Oh, we did it. God, we're so good at this game. Make a dude. Make a dude. Bolton. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to bolt them. It's okay, it was only five cards down. Know when to cloud goat. You gotta know. So we could just negative, negative zero and kill, I guess we kill our tokens too. Yep. I mean, we're 100% killing the sword with the Forsake the Worldly at this point. How do you feel about that, Michael? These. Michael, tell me how you feel about it. What is this? Destroy up to three creatures, return them to the graveyard, and turn each card put in the graveyard this way to the battlefield? That's pretty good. Okay, there's a lot of land. 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 lands? You can just exile the sword, bolt the creature with Ugin. I keep you around the, the great thing is like they have mind control but like if we never give them any good targets then it's just like alright take, take, take a 1-1 one, one. this is why I don't want to play either of these guys because we just don't have to at this point you gotta know when to bolt them know when to smolt them wow know when to smolt them Sometimes you smolt people, smolt them down. Cat makes the weirdest noises. He went, Arr. What does he cost? Negative 10, gain 7, draw 7, then put up 7 from your hand on the battlefield. We would probably die. Play Smolten Rain. Also, if you draw Marshall Coup, did we take Marshall Coup out? I bet we did. No, Marshall Coup's still in here. Marshall Coup for a lot. Let's just win. I'm trying, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, that's the King of the Cats. Sure. So they have one card in hand? That's good. That's okay. You gotta know when to smork them. Know when to bork them. Oh, that's pretty good. Eleshnorn's in our graveyard. It's actually no. not that good. They got a Baneslayer Angel, I guess. Um, Let's draw. We're trying to hit Baneslayer just so they don't get it. Okay, that's fine. Sure, all yours. We have eight cards in our deck. We do have to win the game, but they only have one card in their deck, so I'm not terribly concerned with that. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, Barbary just hasn't been impressive to me because the creatures aren't as scary. There's no, like, Inkwell Leviathans. People aren't playing Gristle Brands normally. Um, so basically, if you get an Elish Norn or Bust. Yeah, there's no Emrakuls, there's no Ulamogs that are being played regularly because you just don't cast them as frequently. Like, I think the biggest issue this game is that we have 8 life. Who are they going at? All at Soren, huh? Which makes sense. Uh, 1 and a 2... I guess we'll path you. Can't we just Ugin negative three and kill everything here? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You gotta know when to smark them. Know when to bork them. Do some borking every day. 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have three lands in our deck. Ugh, that's brutal. I guess we're attacking first. You got it. I'll put this guy in the front. Just for the heck of it. So we're going to neg three on Soren here because our... Uh, Ugin because then we die if we don't or if we do rather if we if we ultimate is what I'm saying you guys know what I'm saying there's a lot going on here exile each permanent oh we lose our underworld connections but I think fine. that's fine with seven cards left in our deck uh, make a dude and make a dude and might as well play the signet as well so we know in our deck is martial coup three lands and three other spells i don't know what the other spells are well that's something but we have we have emblems and you can jump go ahead and jump they're probably gonna negative here yep put the terminus by itself you can have island mind control <laughs> i'd rather you take one of my guys than uh, kill all of them at the same time we accidentally entered no that was an accident we actually we even mentioned that we have seven cards in our deck. I don't want to Underworld anymore. What do they do? What do they put in their hand? Terminus. Sure. Can we just actually... How much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we can put them at a four. What's that do? Actually, that almost wins us the game. We can deal an extra three. We can go shoot their face. Uh, Flicker Wisp Ugin, shoot their face. That puts them to eight. Make an emblem, which is four. So that puts them to four. Elspeth puts them to one. That's so close. That's comically close. Oh, Wisp is end of turn. Yeah, that's right. I always forget that. That's a good point. Um, so we're going to make an emblem... Oh my god! How many people are gonna tell us? How how, how many how many chat people are gonna are gonna are gonna tell us that that was incorrect? I love it. Um, actually, Wisp was not until the end of the turn. You see, he's <laughs> he's the professional streamer. I don't understand. Do we jump though, or do we just make an emblem? Emblem seems pretty good, but I don't think we care about the emblem. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Kill our two tokens? Big whoop! Big whoop! Hello, my name is Big Whoop. They have two cards in hand. Hello, my name is Big Whoop. That's true, the emblem also doesn't do anything against Terminus. Yeah, right, but whatever. Uh, whatever. Shoot you in the face. Buddy? Buddy, I will shoot you in the face! What is that from? I always forgot that's from. It seems to me to be unaware, but Flicker Fist does not, in fact, immediately return the exile permanent, but instead sets up a delayed trigger to return said permanent at the beginning of the next end step. Goodbye, two tokens. I like how they turn gray. Well, that's what happens when you die, Michael. Sure. Everything turns gray. What were they held? They're holding Exclusion Mage and Land. Uh, let's bolt your face again so that you're within lethal range, as the kids say. And uh, I'm going to pass to you, my friend. Pass the game of magic to you. Shouldn't you play the guys for Terminus to give you more turn? Shouldn't you play the guys? Oh, yeah, that's not a terrible idea. I mean, we have five turns. I don't think we're actually... I mean, we can do that uh, if they didn't Terminus, but like, I don't think we're in any position to like... Looks like it's a pretty good draw. I mean, it's not because they're dead. <laughs> so this uh, is one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Yep, it's exactly lethal. or an emblem. You know, let's actually we can deal nine here. We could BM and be like, "Hey, Flicker Wisp, Myugen, I'll kill you next turn." 
Smell you later. This deck is gas. Wish you had mind shot of them for like 15. I was actually tempted to do it for more in case they had like a card draw in hand. If they go Sphinx's Rev for like seven and then we only make them discard two, it's going to be real awkward. Anyway, our deck is cool. I don't know if you knew that. Did you know that? Our deck is cool. Oh, Goyam. I hate him so much. Don't forget to tip your waiters. And Rage Sloth, good games. I got a little tilted when I figured when I saw you in chat, but I figured because you weren't like playing around anything that I figured you were being uh, you were you were an honest gentleman. Good games, buddy. That, that, that that's that third game was pretty nuts. I was way too baked for that game. Was not expecting to play. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's, <laughs> that's hilarious. <coughs> oh my god. What did you say? Did you say something? I don't even. I was ignoring you. That's good. Everything turns gray. Is that a song you just wrote? No. It's a song by Agent Orange. But it, did you just write it? No. They wrote it. But you wrote it too, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, nope. Definitely when, not. When will you have written it? Magic as Richard Garfield intended. It's super baked. Did you ever see that movie Super Baked? No. That's half baked and super bad combined. And it was called Pineapple Express. That's half baked and super bad combined. Which makes Pineapple Express. Yeah, because it's a movie from the Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg camp. Uh -huh. And it's about weed. Half baked, about weed. Super bad. Yeah, but you can insert any weed movie there. Yeah, sure, but it was half-baked because it was super super baked. Baked is in the half-baked title. So you're taking the baked from half-baked, <sighs> and you're taking the super from super bad. Why are you like this? This is a very easy math equation. God. I mean, you going to get some blue suede shoes? Like old Elvis? Yeah, Cyclonic Rift would have been, would have been definitely helpful. Blue suede shoes? No. I mean, maybe. They look nice. Are you going to know when to hold them and know when to fold them? Occasionally, okay. well, apparently not because I lost last night. So, yeah, Mike played. Mike, I don't know if you guys remember. Mike was going to a poker game last night. He lost. He came in third, unfortunately. He got shreked. What did you win for coming in third? Nothing. A big fat goose egg. <laughs> you only win for first. What if we made a deal and every time you lose in your poker games, I get to cut off one of your eyelids? No, <laughs> <laughs> well, that would not last very long. Well, you just keep winning. It's such man. a weird, specific part of my body, too. An <laughs> eyelid. That's a cool and one. And I can never go to sleep again? No, you can, but... With my eyes open? Yeah, just don't. I don't think I want to attack here, do I? I guess I do. Because we're not going to... If they pump this guy twice, we're not going to block. First day on Twitch sub, then now I'm playing. <laughs> That's right. Man, what a day. What a day. How much for Island Stip on next draft? <laughs> is uh, that the more money than is on the earth. Is that where we're the stipulation where we cut off Mike's eyelashes? Eyelids? I was you training articles and trying to find around and watching your videos on YouTube. What's the best way to know when you're live? Uh, follow me on, on here. I also, it, it posts live. Um, okay, so there's a couple ways if you guys are curious on YouTube. Uh, it will post live on Twitch and on my, uh, not on Twitch, on Twitter and on my personal face, my public Facebook page. So if you're if you're following either of those, you'll you'll see a notification. Um, if you just follow me or subscribe on Twitch, you will get notifications, email notifications, or on your phone, mobile notifications, um, whenever I go live as well. So there's lots of ways, and also I go live usually at 2 p.m. on Monday through Friday. So if you're around at 2 p.m., I will possibly be streaming, streaming. I don't actually know if I even want to play Bloodline Keeper, but I kind of do. Oh, I'll just play that instead. Because if we don't hit a land, it's sad. It's sad. I am sad. Sorry, what? Probably the, the double strike you boy, right? Yeah, because if we kill this, like, this guy's still big enough to, like, do the thing. But killing this actually blanks this guy. I got this from Pacing just now. Sweet, thanks. Oh, that's perfect then. <laughs> that's actually great. Uh, oh, that's not going to work the way you want it to. Or what ghosting, as the kids say.
I'm sad. Michael B's dark bargain stip. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Like, so if um the stip could be like for every round we lose, we cut off an eyelid. Um, no. <laughs> so what if? I think the chat would have to donate enough for prosthetic eyelids for Mike, and then double that. Just for your own. Just yeah. For you. Just yeah. for a little, mm -hmm. little bit for you on top. Yeah. Yeah, we could probably do that. Do you guys can can someone look up how much prosthetic eyelids cost? Because <laughs> you know we want to make sure this is oh, this is good. It's gonna be a good one. Three cards in hand, huh? Wow. If we hit one land, we could have gotten Gilded Lotus, and if or we could have mined shattered for I just mine shattered for two here. That seems good. It's random, you know. Don't you know? Oh, it's a random trigger, don't you know? Oh, two lands. I see. Well, that's ex that's not exciting. Someone actually found it. Wow. <sighs> My hostile streak. Wow. Yeah, you can get that eyelid restoration surgery afterwards. I don't know, man. I think this could, this could be really this could really take off for you. <laughs> What if you literally, what if we just literally had a bunch of streams where we would uh, mutilate you in some way and then the, sh the chat pays for not only the restoration, restor restorative surgery, but also uh, twice as much of that. So you get some, what could go wrong? You get some kickback, you know? I don't know, man. I think you're being a little closed minded here. That was a Gideon. That Gideon was a good draw or a good hit if you were able to keep that off of our, come on, just give me a land here. Come on, don't be like this. Thank you. Thank you. So I think it's safe to block here. We'll take six. We'll go to eight, but then we can, you know, do the deed next turn. And I don't want to waste this on one guy to save some save some life here, so. Yeah, we could tattoo your face. We could be a, we could make you like Post Malone. Hmm. Alrighty then. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're just doing this for six, right? Let's just get in there. Worked out for post. Yeah. Post also had other stuff going on though. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he was really he had a really good plan to fall back on once his facial tattoo uh once his once his facial tattoos were it, whether they're accepted socially or not, he was he was gonna be okay. Oh my god, if they manatize us, can you imagine? I would have lost my ever-loving mind. You want an eyelid? I can get you an eyelid. Believe me, I'll do. You don't want to know about it. Believe me, I can get you an eyelid by three tomorrow with eyes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's a good movie. Oh, what are you gonna do here? You gonna get my legal gloves? Is this how you want to be? Is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? I don't think so, buddy. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. Keeper of the bloodline. Get him. Boom, 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 boom. My name is Michael. I like my eyelids. Have you ever seen my little eyelids? I think these six tokens are going to go the distance, man. Oh, do you want to do a mic makeup tutorial stream? We could arrange that. Really? We could arrange that? Mm -hmm. We could arrange a makeup tutorial stream for you. Yeah, that doesn't involve my body parts being mutilated. So. Wow, if you set the bar real high, like, hey, man, we'll cut off your butt cheeks. And then if you, you're able to pretty much dial it back to anything ridiculous, and he'll do it because he's like, well, I get to keep my butt cheeks. So what problem is? Yeah, what problem is? I don't understand. Uh, uh, we're definitely bringing a day of judgment for this matchup. How do you feel about that? Seems right. Fatal push? Sure. Underworld connections we can take out. Is that in the deck? No, we boarded that in last round. Last round. I knew you were going to say round. Dang it. Oh, God, why did you hear that? It was so subtle, too. I'm going to take out Mind Shatter because they're just a stupid white deck. What else are we taking out, man? Golgari Signet? Sounds good. Okay. Don't know if I agree with that, but sure. Why? Because we have a lot of high drops, man. Why? 
I need oh, eye drops but the for. Why? We need eye drops for a high drop. No, you need eye drops for your black of eyelids because your eyes are gonna dry a out. A black of eyelids. Find a lady friend that can legit play it like a YouTube makeup tutorial. I can call. I can call Jenna Marbles. Can you call her? Do you have her number? I don't. Oh, I lied. That's too bad. I guess I didn't lie because I didn't really say I'd had it. I want to make an app that's a combination of Uber Eats and Tinder. It just shows you pictures of food and you swipe left till you see something you like. Then you swipe right and it orders. That's actually a great idea. That's actually an amazing idea. <laughs> Option one, we take your butt cheeks. Option two, shave all hair off your head and face. Yeah, so in that situation, you're like, God, option two sounds great by comparison. I would consider shaving all my hair off for a certain amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's that dude that's like, I'll do anything to get rich I'll quick. I'll probably do it for $100 to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you can't say that, man, because someone's going to fucking donate it, bro. Then that's what happens. Then we're going to shave your little ear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, the hair will grow back. That's what you think. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll do it for $100. Don't take Grey War Muse out. I don't need that many cards, man. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, I like a blank something up here. Butt cheeks grow back, right? Oh, God. Here we go. A full body wax? Why do I gotta get wax, man? Because that's more of a thing, man. That's a whole. That's a whole. Then to I do. have to go somewhere to get someone to do it, and then it's hard to record and hard to visit. People can't see that really. Thank you. Can't recall. Thanks so much for the reset. One year, time flies by. It seems like yesterday when our eyes met. Your time runs. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, you're <laughs> rotating in your mouth, and I made a gift. Happy one year anniversary. Kong, did you make that gif? I for, I totally forgot that it was you. That's amazing, dude. So $100 and Mike becomes bald. Will this be done live on stream as well? By Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how I would stream that. What are you talking about? I would just get a bowl of water and some shaving cream. I would lather you up and then we'd shave you. Oh your... no, no. We're using trimmers, boy. We ain't. I ain't taking no straight razor to the head. I'll do it. I mean, that's that's fine. I'll get you. So if we play this now, it leaves him with just a 1-1, one, one, but I think we're going to pass here and take a little bit more. A little bit more, a little bit more. Because if they play like... real good. That's also pretty good. Not for us, though. No, not for us. That's bad. Yeah, that's not the third drop we were looking for. Well, that's not something that props can fix. Can Mike get some chicken wing tats on his face? <laughs> like teardrops, but chicken wings. <laughs> no, I'm not getting tattoos on my face. Please get a chicken wing tattoo right here in the corner of your eye. Please, wow. dude. Oh, my God. I need that chicken wing tat in my life. We're at four life. How I explain that for the rest of my life? How? Yeah. You just do it, man. They only give you that if you kill someone in a church as well. I want to play both of these guys. I think it was actually a mistake to not just green sun for three here and kill everything. Then they get a two two and we get to play both these guys <clears throat> next turn. I think that was actually a total mistake. But I was really distracted by Mike getting chicken wing tats on on his eye in the shape of tears. <laughs> Oh my god. I definitely came back at an interesting time. That is correct. That is correct. Oh my god, I'm crying, dude. <sighs> Mike's getting chicken wing tats on his eyes. How much do we have to pay you to get those? 
chicken wing tattoos yeah, you get the chicken wing tattoos bro I don't think there's enough money in the world Did they just cast this interesting there's not enough, I, there's not enough money in the world there's actually probably a pretty good price I could there's there's definitely a price out there I just don't know what it is I don't know where my my moral compass lies Oh, dee, 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 dee. I don't know if that's a moral issue. I don't think you know where your monetary compass lies is what you mean. Maybe. Okay. So we got ones and twos. We can do it for two. Kill all the things. Oh, you don't get yours back. Dang. No, because of the negative counters, brah. <clears throat> Yeah, there's probably enough money in the world because it gets to a point where we're like, well, I got all these chicken wing tats and I don't need to work again because I have all this money, so it doesn't really matter. But I'll forever be chicken wing tatted, though. Yeah, but then you'll be known for that. They'll be like, there's that rich chicken wing tatted guy. And then Someone like, will probably just rob me then. Oh, um, yeah, but tats. you have all the money, so you can just have have guys. Like, hey, you can have bodyguards, man. How much does it cost to leave the game and shave him completely bald? <laughs> oh, crying out loud. <clears throat> I just can't with you guys right now. You can store money in banks, Mike. It's pretty neat. Yeah, I agree. I've heard of this. I'll definitely keep this guy. Oh, grave. Oh, grave titan. Yum. You know what that's from? Grave titan yum? Yeah. It's from nothing. You just made it up. It's like Red Robin, but with grave titans. <clears throat> grave titan. Yum. Come on, man. You know the you know Red Robins. No, if if I if it had Lil Wing, <laughs> Lil Wing. No, if 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 we ever got tats on my face for chicken wings, I could never remove them. That'd be like part of it. Like if you pay me enough, I can't ever get it surgically removed. Like I'm not allowed to do that. Yeah, he's got to be. Yeah, otherwise he's not Lil Wing anymore. I gotta stay faithful to it. We can call him B Wing. That's a good card. <sighs> this board is actually not that great. For us? I can't tell if you're being serious right now. It's not good for us? No, like for them. Like Oh, no, their board is terrible. Why did you... Why would you... Did I... Did I well, you said, you said that's not good when you played that. <clears throat> it's still not good. But, I mean, I think it's... I think we're still way ahead. We just jump right. this guy for nine, make a million blockers. Or we can just play that and still keep our Grave Titan alive. That's also pretty nuts, though. I think we take it. We know we're drawing. We want to draw it, so we'll keep it. Uh, let's do it first. Actually, we can jump. No, we can't jump and do. doesn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Dunzo. Unfortunately, all our guys are dying. My God, Black Sun's going to shuffle in. Why don't you attack first? Uh, well, because if they block here. Oh, sure. And also, the, the zombies we make from this guy would have died. So now we get two free zombos. Zombones connected to the neck bone. Neck bones connected to the little wing. And that is Mike's prison name. Little wing? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good card. It's pretty decent. I'm getting real tired of all these good stuffs. First Strike's a hell of a drug. You, you are so is Lifelink. Uh, this is just as good as drawing two cards so I'll just take it and then I'll draw two cards with it are we at six? Ooh, I forgot how much damage we took in the early game Ooh. <laughs> just keep on doing it I guess yikes uh, we can actually do that now why? because it kills the Lyra 
Does it? Oh, we have treasures. We have treasures. We have uh, uh, treasures. <laughs> I think we have to do it. Am I missing? No, I'm not. I am not missing what Brian is saying. Um, I'm trying to focus on my game. Three, four, sack of treasure. Oh, God. I'm just so tired of killing everything. <laughs> How many Black Sun Zeniths can we draw? Actually, if we left this in last game, we wouldn't have been able to deck ourselves, which would have been nice. Not like we decked ourselves, but, you know, we wouldn't have been able to, is my point. My, my problem is I don't want you guys getting too serious about this because we're not going to shave Mike's head right now. It's not going to happen. So I don't want you to get too serious about it. Donate 100 bucks under the impression that I'm going to shave Mike's head right now or, like, at any point. Like, it's just kind of a big deal. And 100 is pretty low ball for me shaving my head, honestly. You literally said I'll probably do it for 100 bucks. I said probably. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Boy, that's busted. Bustin makes me feel good. Just gonna plus you. Hit up Gidgen. And then we can <clears throat> Elspeth make an emblem. Oh, that's sad. Oh, alright. Less sad. Less sad. Oh, man. What a grindy match this is. Our deck's pretty grindy in general. It is, but we also have a lot of, like, really good stuff, too. So, one, two, three, four. Soren. Emblem. Guy. Yeah. Other guy. So many guys. And attack for one. Alright, sounds good. Would a bucket of chicken change your mind? I don't think so. No, that's that's definitely what that's I'm all I know. It that's what that's what pushes you over the edge. It was the bucket You're of chicken. Like, Alright, done. I still think we're cutting off his eyelids. Okay, we're not doing that. We can do it. No, we can't. Don't be a little baby about things. How about a bucket of hair? What if we donated a bucket of hair? Would that do it for you? You know, maybe. That's good to hear. I'm listening. Make a dude. Make a dude. I think this is probably the next turn. <clears throat> So we're going to have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can actually flip this guy next turn because we'll make two vampires. That's easily going to be a thousand vampires. There's no way they have subtle records, right? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <clears throat> uh, let's make sure it's lethal. This was anticlimactic. I don't know. You kept uh, you kept having answers for a while. And zombos for days. You mentioned Star Crunch earlier, and now I have my wife stopping to grab, <laughs> pick up some Star Crunch on the way home. No beats. You want me to call her and uh, tell her to get something different? And then Mike can get drunk and accidentally say her phone number on the stream. Remember that? Did I do that? <laughs> yes. I don't remember that. Oh, my God. But I believe you. Yes, it was when you were super drunk and you were calling uh, his wife as, like, a joke to, like, ask for something that he wanted. Mm -hmm. And you, like, read the phone number out loud. And it was, like, super awkward. Hmm. Interesting. And you're like, six, seven, one, 
four, three, and I was like, oh my god, what is going on right now? I will play first. Eh, seems fine. It's a little slow. It's real slow. It's very slow. Give me the eyelids, bro. No. What if I go into your room while you sleep and cut them off? That'd be rude. Yeah, you'll never know. I'll lock my door. Oh, I can't get in then. My door doesn't have a lock. Really? No, I don't think so. Is that... It, really? I haven't really checked, though. <laughs> so you literally have no idea. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it could have a lock. Who knows? I just work here. Nice whisper. Oh, another X spell. All three of our X spells are in our hand right now. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah. You you were so drunk that when she answered the phone, you just hung it up. You're like, oh, I couldn't do it. And I was like, oh my god, this dude has seen better days. It was not your finest moment. Hmm. Oh, that guy's dead. Brian, you're ridiculous, dude. Oh, looking at Johnny. That is unfortunate. Can I get a swamp one time? No, I can't, so I can't play any That's fine, points. you can just kill the Swallow Omens. Swallow Omens? Yeah. I mean, if we played Bloodline Keeper, they would have killed with Johnny, so I guess this is fine. Seems good. Seems good. I just want a Swamperino. Can't get that. No, sir. They're going to kill us with double planeswalkers when we can't even play our spells. Having a good time. Having a good time. But are we? That's the question. No. Hmm. Yes. You're correct. Oh, look, a third planeswalker. No. Yes. Yes, we are doing well here. That is not the land we're looking for, but... Uh... I mean, theoretically, we can play Ugin at some point and wipe all their things away, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think they're probably just going to get, like, Ulamog here, kill us. I don't know. <clears throat> this guy's problematic. Just a little bit. How are your eyelids doing? Good for now. Yeah, don't get too attached. Why doesn't the swamp untap? You guys know how Johnny works, right? Good lord, you maniacs. Oh, this is just going to kill our lands next turn, isn't he? Well, that's awkward. Well, I mean... You know, we did miss two land drops, so... And they have four planes blockers, but you know, other than that, we're doing good. One, two, three. I don't think we have any way to deal with either of these, so they just kill our lands, and uh, four planes blockers is pretty good. Actually, I don't. Well, that's that's your fault. That's your fault, Zichi. Do anything that kills planes blockers? Uh huh. I mean, we do in our main deck. We have Never and Ruinous Path, but we just didn't see them. Actually, might want to be just more aggressive. Bring in Drolf's Messenger, Midnight Reaper. Skin render is fine, I guess. Oh, we also have Raska's. We actually have a ton of ways to deal with Planeswalkers. We just did not see many of them. Let's get the Black Sun Zenith. Take out Path? I don't even know. I don't know what to take out because, like... Actually, Path is good because it kills Sarkon. Yeah, let's try it like this. We don't have Black White Sword. We have Black Green Sword. Which doesn't do much against the Naya deck, or the Mardu deck. That They didn't really cast any relevant black spells against us. Making your way in the world today, take everything you got. 
Really hope we draw a black source. Same. Wouldn't you like to get away? Don't kill my guy, okay? He's in the garbage can right now. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is a Cheers song, guys. You guys like? You guys know Cheers? Oh, look who it is. It's your boy. Just kidding, it's not your boy. You wanna go away? But it might be. I don't know if it's your name. I kinda just wanna kill it before they tap out, before they untap, rather. Is it better to get a 1-1 one -one out of it? Probably. Like, I'd rather give them a 1-1 one -one than an extra land next turn. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to incinerate here, which is fine. Yep. They never didn't have it. I'm just going to do this now so I can have six. Uh, you can go on the bottom. I need a six land here. Coming back. We have a lot of four drops, so I'm probably going to scry during our upkeep too, just to get something decent here. I will definitely keep that, knowing what their deck has. Yeah, and they're already at nine. They're basically dead. Yeah, this guy's insane. How are you doing over there? How are your eyelids doing? Keep us updated, man. Um, they're, they're open, you know. Okay. For business. They're open for business? Mm -hmm. So you are selling them? No, they're just open for business. Interesting. They're open so I can business. But they're closed and I can't business. Oh, she dead. She dead. She dead. Oh, you're killing that? Dang. It is unfortunate. Do I still want to kill it? I'm not sure. I think so. Probably. Probably want a cracker? I guess so. Zaichi, so, the poker game was fun. I came in third. It was a good time, though. A couple beers. A couple hands of poker. It was a good time. Was it a good time? Yeah. Tell me more about your good can't time. The, can't get this guy to go, though. Can you explain more on the She Dead lyrics? We want to hear the bridge and the non-chorus lyrics. Um, it's, I can't because it's a song I'm still working on. It's still in progress. She's so dead. She ain't alive no more. She's in the ground with Mike's eyelids. That's, uh, that's probably how it's going to go. Something, something, like, something like that. Oh, now we're gonna, oh, now we're gonna marshal coop all up in this piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. I actually had a couple shandies last night. They're pretty a good. shandy? Mm -hmm. What's a shandy? You know, it's like a, like a kind of, no, nope. sweet beer. A sweet beer? Yeah. Like a pecan shandy? Yeah. That's it was, cool. Man. It was raspberry shandy. You're my little raspberry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Please Lord. don't. Please don't. Was it for fun or also with a buy-in? So you, I like that he adds me. I like Zeechi. I like that you at me, even though the question is for me. No, we had a. It was a ten dollar buy-in with a ten dollar rebuy if you wanted. So, a uh, question for ten the to twenty bucks depending for on the stream host. If you wanted to or not. Try to get this guy to go, but he wouldn't go. Cause he's a little pansy. I had things to do, man. Mm-hmm. Like not go. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You would have made our sixth. Would have been perfect. I think it was perfect with me not going. So I guess we just have different definitions of perfect. The one guy who was there wanted to know all about your stream life. Really? Mm-hmm. You didn't tell him, right? Tell him what? That you stream for a living? Yeah, I told him that. Our opponent's dead. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, I don't know what a shandy is because I don't drink. So, there you go. Cast, target you. Choose a land, I'll choose this front swamp. Front swamp. Don't use the back swamp. I would never use the back swamp. Back swamping. Every day. Is that lethal? Yeah. Hooray. That's how seven damage works, bro. Put you to zero, you friggin' nerd. Languish is an interesting how to bring it against us because we don't actually have to make creatures. God, I wish Duplicate could take Planeswalkers. And then he'd be he'd have power and toughness equal to their loyalty. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, that'd be gas. <sighs> Alas, he was printed before Planeswalkers were a thing. You're printed before your mom was a thing. No. I it happened like afterwards. <laughs> I happened afterwards. Did you, though? Yeah. Yeah, but did you? Yeah. Mm. Think yeah. about it, though. Mm. That's exactly right. Take the signet out. Play Kitchen Finks. I like how Mike drops this guy when talking about what does that mean? Oh, like this guy wouldn't go? Is that what he meant? Is that what you mean? Okay, we'll do it. Oh, I'm going to keep you on the top, even though this is really out of reach. Actually, we have Knight's Whisper, which is great to, to unmulligan here. Yeah, but then this guy wouldn't go, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, we don't actually know, Michael. We have no idea what you mean. Don't play anything. Don't play anything. Don't play a signet. What the hell? Who cares about that? Who cares about it? Not I, said Piggy no. Pie. Piggy Pie said that? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have a nice whisper here, because we're not going to be able to uh, scry next turn. So we're just going to play this guy, so we might as well just wait to play the treasure map until we can actually use it. Oh, they missed a land drop. Oh, this is fascinating. Not I, said Piggy Pie. Oh yeah, how'd you go in the poker game, Mike? <laughs> how'd that go, man? Good talk. Good talk. <gasps> Isn't this the second land drop? This is no good for our opponent. Oh my god, they missed two land drops. Are we winning this game? Oh, they're going to do a thing? Are you going to kill this guy during like my turn? Are you going to mortify him? Piggy Pie, no. <laughs> oh, and we hit a land? A Pecan Landy? Pecan Landy. Boy, wow. you know it. I do. I feel like we're way ahead right now. Do you understand? I feel like we're way ahead, Michael. Michael, we're so far ahead. They missed a third land drop. We're going to 3 0 this draft. Oh, they oh, didn't. Dang it. Draft. He has a week to pay or he loses his island, so not good. Yeah, that was rough. Mike lost, and he, he, he he's. Uh, the, the rat debt that he has to pay is uh, getting a little serious now. Sure. They wasted a Mortify and an Incinerate on that guy. Deal. Making your way in the... I'll just keep you on top. Takes everything you've got. Actually, we can just go Gilded Lotus Kitchen Finks, which seems utterly insane here. And it's pretty good. To, I don't know if it's utterly insane. We get to play this guy next turn. You don't think that's utterly insane? I don't think the kitchen thinks it is. That, no, but the, the the convenience of playing our five drop that ramps us into our eight drop and using the five drop to play the three drop this turn. It's really convenient, Michael. No, you I want to say that, you little jerk. Eyelids? <laughs> My father was a drinker. And one night. One, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's get in there with LaFinx. Are you going to have Resto? Are we just going to get resto out every single game? Or if we'll just buff? It's okay. We just shoot it. I, I do like that. <coughs> oh, that's actually also fine. Because we just get it back and everything's fine. One, two, three. One. We can also just play both of these, but I don't know if that's great. I mean, it is great, 
but I, I'd rather just get Ugin. Like, I'm afraid of, like, a Face Fetters or, like, an Oblivion Ring. But uh, if they don't have that, Eugene is a strong threat. That's what you guys are here for, right? That top tier strategic con content. Ugin is a powerful planeswalker. You don't say. I do. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. That's from Happy Gilmore. Your mom's from Happy Gilmore? My mom is from Happy Gilmore? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? That's where she came from? or? Mm -hmm. That's where she came from. That's where she go. Hibbity, habbity, kitten eye Joe. Kitten eye Joe. <laughs> Are you drunk now? <laughs> like, is that... Is that what's happening? Oh, we're definitely ultimating Ugin next turn, especially because he survives. And we won the game. Unfortunately, if they had land and like zealous conscripts, we would have been wrecked. But thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're subscribing, be sure to hit that bell icon. You'll get notifications whenever new videos go up, which is twice a day, except for on weekends, which is only once a day. But you can do me a favor and support the channel or the stream by checking out the links below in the uh, description, such as Twitch or Patreon or meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, where you'll get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And also, don't forget... Uh, you can check out Aaron Kane deck, custom deck boxes in the link below. His stuff is amazing. You'll get 10% off with promo code Frank. So if that's something you're looking for anyway, be sure to check that out. His work is fantastic. I showed it off on the stream the other day, and I will show it off again in the future so you guys know what it looks like. But please check out the link in the description below or in my Twitch profile. His stuff is great. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.